Good morning, guys. Welcome to winter. It's winter again. It's supposed to be warmer today and then get really warm this week. So hopefully, hopefully winter will be over soon. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today, we have something super excited planned. We are going on a road trip. Do you guys know that we're looking for a few animals, a few different types. And today we're going on a road trip to pick up one. What's the good thing about fresh snow? Yeah, you can see. Tr our, cat's our cat's been out. Yeah. Been wow. First things first, we have chores to do. Horses are out having their hay, had their grain. Sam is so kind, he's coming down with me to do goats. Yes, the girls could be out here doing it too, but they're just not as efficient and not as fast as we are. And we want to hit the road because I'm excited. Oh, Sam thought he caught something. I was going to be so stressed out. I thought it was a, a rat, but no, I didn't catch that. <laughs> every two days because yeah I think the same thing that sucker like comes back every two days for the trap two days ago nothing and then yesterday there was all those holes so I'll wait yeah I'll one more day again. it will for sure be Sunday morning and it will be me finding the dead thing in the trap Amy again it's the live trap oh it won't be dead but still I don't want to find something alive either we're trying to leave everything exactly perfect because when we go on long road trips my son and his girlfriend come in the middle of the day and check on animals. I love these little triplets. Like if you were all girls, there would be, not one of them would be leaving. Like they are perfect little specimens of goats if you ask me. Like triplets, all different colors is my favorite. And I love, my favorite kind of goat is a goat that is a solid color with a lot of white. So these guys are all solids with some white. They, to me, are perfection. Hi, babies. Just so I remember their names, we got little Teddy is over here. Oscar is right here. Oscar is turning out to be the friendliest boy. And then we have little Theo. It's the gold one there. And I love this climber, that's for sure. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Teddy bear. Doesn't he look like a teddy bear? Anyways, there's, it's so fun to come down in the morning to see these guys. We won't be letting them out again. This is actually the third day that we will be waiting to let them out. We wait until the sun comes out in the afternoon and then we let them out for a few hours and bring them back in. It's actually not too bad out here. Like there's areas that they could go out here and not get cold. The babies could all bed down over there and it would be okay. But you can never trust a baby to do the right thing. You can never, and you can't control these babies. The moms try, but they don't always listen. They are boys and they are running and wanting to do their own thing. So we're just gonna step in and leave them in when it's the coldest part of the day, bring them out when it gets warmer. It's supposed to start getting really warm today. I imagine the snow will disappear today. It'll be a muddy, mucky mess. And then tomorrow they'll be able to stay out all day again. That's my dream, that's my wish. But anyway, let's go. We're ready to head out on an adventure I can't wait to tell you whose animal we're picking up today. This place is so far away, you guys. It's so out in the country. 
It's very rural. It's actually insane. I can't even believe that we're driving here. I am so car sick. I have hardly been car sick for years. So car sick. We are home and the snow is just like melting so fast. And he just I know. I don't think this goat's ever been outside before. Be best friends with her. I know. So that's the one big thing is that Lola can be friends with her. But anyway, I'm going to explain to you all about little Miss Cricket here. Cricket with the blue eyes. Close the door. I don't think she's ever been outside. So uh, this is Cricket. She's three months old. I know yesterday I said I don't like dark goats and then She's going to probably have to go in with them. I bought, no, I think I'm going to put her with, with um, Lola. Yeah, but what stall? Well, we have one more stall left. Look, she likes her. Yeah, she's a baby. Maybe she'll be okay with her. And Winston already loves her. So anyways, this- And if we put her in with the friendly goat, she'll be friendly. Aww. So nice Cricket, one. that wasn't nice. Cricket is three months old and she is registered and she is polled. Winston's like, oh, oh, that's not cool. And she is registered and old means that she doesn't grow horns. So that's like a big way that I want our farm to go, our hornless goats. <laughs> He's like, yes, I want them too. We have to do chores now, Sophie and I. We didn't do chores this morning. Mom. What? We haven't ever hornless. She's talkative. You think she's talkative? Yes. I don't, I don't think she's talkative. I think she's just scared. I don't think she's ever been outside. That's something I should have asked. <laughs> yeah, let's put her with Lola. All right, so I'm going to let... <laughs> look at her like at that barn that their goats were all kind of chubby i'm looking at our goats now <laughs> and i'm like mm, ours are kind of chubby Let's put her in the car. why don't you why don't you just put her down there so she can see the other goats through the gate cricket comes from a nice close clean herd tested herd so we don't have to worry about diseases even though i know some people will still worry but we know that she's okay and she's vaccinated she's cute so just because she's black doesn't mean that all her babies will be black. <laughs> she thinks it's all black babies. Like, okay, she's gone. <laughs> cool. Her mom has had had light colored babies as well. What do you call this then? Well, you gotta. I mean, one black baby is fine. Oh, I love Sophie's sense of humor. She always makes me laugh so much. Honestly, jumps on that gate all the time. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna clean your stall. So out you go. <laughs> the cutest. She's the same size as who? She's like as tall as Harley. As tall as Harley? Yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, she's short. She is. She's not gonna be bigger than Lola. She is gonna be bigger than no, Lola. She isn't. <laughs> the goats are so happy to be out today. Oh yeah. They're I mean the same size, but she's better. <laughs> she's so cute. I don't know what you're expecting. They're the same size. They are the same size. When she's really cute. I feel bad for her. I hate having to introduce a new goat. It's fine. Lola's still not in the herd. So, confirmationally, I just don't think that she's perfect. But there's a lot of things that I can do with a buck to improve upon the things. I like her long back. How old is she? She's 12 weeks. And how old is he? <laughs> uh, like two weeks? Yeah, like three weeks. And he's obviously shorter. Barely. He's like, ooh. Lady. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. He's like, it is a girl. He's never been around a girl before, Mom. <laughs> well, Lola. Okay, well, Winston gets Lola. She's pretty cute though. She's obviously bigger, just not super. I love that they can't hurt each other. Yeah. 
Look at her hackles are up. <laughs> Boys are so persistent. Please, I just want to love you. <laughs> Anyways, it's really difficult. All right, let's bring Winston in. <laughs> Whoa, Lola, be nice to the babies. Winston. All the boys want Lola now. Lola, we've made your life, your lot in life, a lot easier. We brought another, another little girl for her. all these boys to harass. I'm trying to set this camera so that the color is right, but it's so hard to set. It's like a higher end camera, and it's not just all natural. If I put it on auto, it doesn't do nice. <laughs> What's happening? They all came for the sun. It's so warm Winston. out here. They were playing with Winston? Yeah. Harley, at first she was. Anyway, I, like I was, here, grab him. Like I was saying, there's a lot to improve oh, with her. Like, exactly her size. Because she's fatter than me. <laughs> Alright. I need to put more hay out here, too. Are you staying home? Selfie stayed home all day so she could rest in her pajamas. Okay, well stop thinking about food for one second. So the reason I bought her was because she comes from a really good line. Oh, she likes him. Oh. More her size. Yeah, they're almost the same size. Look how cute he is. To be fair, he's really big for his age. Aww. That's like the mating dance. It's fine. I'm gonna let them... <laughs> He's happy. Oh, he's, he's wagging he's his tail. Oh, I've missed being outside with the goats. I've missed it so him. much. And they've missed their salt lick. So I bought her because of her registration. I bought her because she comes from a really, really good line. I bought her because she's pulled. And then I love that she has moon spots and then she's blue eyed. But those were not my contributing factors. She's a little shorter than I would like. So I'm going to, hey, be nice to that baby. So <laughs> stop. So I'm gonna have to breed her to something a little bit taller and see if I can improve upon that. But her udder should be fabulous. I saw her mom's udder. Oh my goodness. None of our goats have an udder like that. Oh, hi, Tilly. Oh, this is Rosie. <gasps> this is Rosie. Look at ever since she got abandoned by her mom, there's a goat on my back. Who is it? It's awesome. a possum. No. Ah! Get off me! I'm about to fall in the water. Oh, she just ripped my coat. Anyways, um, she's starting to be my friend, Rosie. Ever since her mom abandoned her and I've been feeding her in the hallway, she sees me in a different light. But, like, she's actually coming up to me and being friendly. She likes him better than the little yellow boy. Ow, Blossom! You hurt me. He's so excited to have a friend that won't headbutt him. Really? Oh, look at that one little black one under there nursing. I wish he was a girl. <laughs> look at this little one eating hay. Mom, come see him. He's so excited to have a friend. Aw, she definitely likes him. So here's the problem. He can only be friends with Lola because Rosie is going to be having babies soon. Winston is going to be evicted from the herd soon. So, like, everybody that she's going to be friends with is going to be leaving soon. <laughs> All right, let's let her outside and see what happens. Okay. We'll just have to watch her and make sure she stays safe. You know, Sam built this for us, not for you. Everybody is missing their salt lick. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'm afraid that the mamas will all be mad. He is such a brat. I don't blame you. Okay, just stay right by her. I'm not putting Winston! So we're probably not going to leave her out here with everybody. We, I'm not putting her down near you. No, we're going to put her in a stall. And she is going to be friends with Lola. Alright, there's a big war over here. Well, if they fight with each other... Well, she's brave. Mocha, I mean Blossom. <laughs> They're all like, whoa, what's that smell? All the boys are like, ooh. <laughs> can you bring my camera so I can no, take a picture she's of... She's going to realize that it's not her baby. Of the difference in size of her. Don't try and nurse. Don't try and nurse. That's not your mom. Don't do it. Be nice, Mocha. Mocha's being okay. You know, Mocha's usually, like, nice. As long as it doesn't come to her babies. 
Everybody's just sitting here chewing the salt lick. Winston. Winston's like, oh, <laughs> and then there's the twins over here. <laughs> and Winston beside his woman. Look, like she thinks it's her baby. Aww. She's protecting her from Rosie. Because it's a dark baby. Maybe she's colorblind. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like, that's my baby. Look. Ah, she's in the middle of a bunch of moms. Oh, Mocha has actually... Mocha, hey! Oh. Hey! Hey! Stop it. Look at Mocha's... Ah! Oh. When I leave, everything goes to hell. <laughs> yeah! It all went bad Look, when you left. Look, has friends now. Go watch her. But yeah, Winston has friends now. <laughs> How does it feel, Winston? I mean, she has to get used to them. They have to get used to her. Rocky's like, ooh, I can't be a lady. Yeah, look at all these. Oh, look at all these goats. Like, <laughs> we have a lot of goats. Poor Lola, though. And then there's another whole crew over there. Poor Lola. Just Lola. Honestly, farm life teaches you about life. <laughs> so much better than any other place. Like, Sophie knows. Sophie has learned a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> be nice. Good Good job. Well, Rosie's well, nice. Well. So I technically could probably put her in with Rosie and... We'll probably put her with Lola. Well, why don't we put her in with the three of them? And let her well, be friends with the three of them. Well, maybe not for the first night. Because look, those Lola be loves her. Oh, Lola, Lola is such a sweet goat. I believe that I everything... Like so happy to be outside. <laughs> I know. I know. It's been like three days and... Out of the three days, only two days were they out for half a day. One day they were in the whole entire day. That was yesterday. So they're just so happy to be outside. She's shorter than I wanted. But it's hard to buy. Like, so you buy online and you, a hey, be nice, Tilly. Hey, be nice. Well, yeah, she's nice until suddenly she's not. They're a whole lot nicer to her than they were to Lola. I know, what the hell? What the heck, Sophie? Stop with the bad words. It's hard when she has nobody to protect her and well, she's still she's a baby. Gone by three babies at a time. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> How do you feed three babies at a time? Everywhere I look, somebody's beating up somebody else's baby. Or Winston's humping somebody else's baby. <laughs> You'll take second look. So Sophie loves this boy because he's so, so friendly. Well, I don't love him. Why don't you love he's him? He's cute. I like him, but I don't love him. I love him. I love that thing. The one that uh oh. <laughs> he's trying to hump him and he's trying to hump her. Oh, that's your own baby. <laughs> no. Oh, no, that's not your baby. She was chasing around her own baby. Oh, she's like, okay, here's the food. <laughs> that's the kind of goat that I like, at least. Look, Mom. She seems hardy. Mom, look, this boy likes me. She seems super hardy. Like, she's not a goat that, like, she's not an alarmist. Like, Lola ah, is a bit of an alarmist. You may did. remember her screaming constantly. <laughs> I feel like she'll settle in faster. Boy, goats like me. Yeah. We've established well, those that. Are trying to hump. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, oh, Winston. Ow. <laughs> Sat on her What's palm. his name again? Uh, Hi. Yeah. Is that Theo? No. Yeah. That's is. Oscar. No. Yeah. Theo is the blonde. No, the orange this one. is Theo and that's Oscar. No. No. No, I'm getting my own name. So. I don't like you. <laughs> we have so much chores to do. We have so much cleaning to do. So uh, that was my first foray into uh, buying possums really registered goat. A uh, registered goat. I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research on her what line is? and she comes from a really good line. She, when I got there, it turned out that she was shorter than I wanted. Her mom is bigger than Blossom. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Hump you. <laughs> her mom is bigger than Blossom, taller than Blossom, longer than Blossom, looks nicer quality than Blossom. So I'm not getting rid of Blossom. No, we're not going to get rid of Blossom. But I'm just saying, like, even I though she's know. really short, I can fix a little bit of that with breeding. She has a really good udder. Oh my, she's going to give us all boys that are not bold. <laughs> <laughs> we're not having much luck in the whole breeding situation, Hi. are we? That's Ellie out there. You like to sit in my lap, sir. So did Lola you think does that like where her. Where are supposed to be and see if they're the same as Lola's? <laughs> Sophie says there's too many babies. I'm like, oh, poor Lola. <laughs> that's another one. Okay, we're gonna stop showing that. That's just rude. Stop. <laughs> Whoa, that's the wrong chocolate one, Lola. 
They're so funny. She's like, get away from It's me. because she's the only one who doesn't scare any of them. All the rest are scary. She doesn't have any <laughs> They're so cute. She's micro mini monster. Stop! <laughs> Are you trying to say I failed? She I, like I messaged my friend who helped me find this goat and it's like, yeah, this is the good, this is a good one. I'm like, all their goats were micro mini. If I like, because I had to get it, I already put down a deposit. It's not like I could be like, oh, I don't like her, sorry. <laughs> so I said to my friend, like, she's a micro mini. I'm going to have to breed her and sell the babies as micro mini goats, a whole new breed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't understand how you can be like registered. How can you be registered? Oh, she's spicy. She's tiny. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, I failed. I failed on my first run. But like I said, I can improve height. She has all the other good genetics. And she's spicy. Well, like, nice. She's well, not a big chicken. <laughs> the poor moms. They're all like, the boy, the babies are just running like crazy. They're just acting wild. And the moms are like, oh, thank God they finally got out. Here, little cricket. Sophie thinks I got, the, Sophie thinks I got scammed. But look at. She's a sheep. <laughs> her mom is bigger than Lola. I'm telling you. I'm literally being attacked from every way. I have a triplet on every single side of me. They're chewing my fingers, <laughs> chewing my coat. I have a triplet everywhere. The only ones of our goats that are not friendly are the brown boys. And it's only because it was really hard to make them friendly because of the mom. Winston's the friendly. But Sophie just had him in her arms. Stop. He's chewing off your hair. I know. <laughs> chunks missing off your hair. He's chewing my hair. That was really friendly too. I feel so bad for our little... Go. Everybody thinks that I got scammed. <laughs> she's half sheep. <laughs> she's so short. So she's 12 weeks and she's the size of our three week old babies. The height of our three week old babies. But what's really funny is that the mom said that the owner said that the mom was a little bit shorter but that the dad was really was taller and that she already looks like she'll be taller like the dad. But when we looked at the dad the dad literally looked like a midget. I literally could have said like oh, okay well sorry I'm not interested and just left but we literally drove three and a half hours we literally drove three and a half hours so lesson learned people i still really like her i think she's tough as heck i think i think she's brave but we've just entered this whole new world we've just entered this whole new world of goats like we're just sitting out here being attacked that was your baby oh no it wasn't your baby everybody was so upset from being locked in for so long they're all crazy <laughs> Get him, Lola. <laughs> because she has no horns, it doesn't bother them. Lola. Can't eat my hair. <laughs> they just sit there and they jump on your face. It's like they're this. <laughs> Hi. Hi, little man. Oh my god. But yeah, he gets mad if I actually hold him. I miss this. I miss playing with our goats. The last three days has been horrible. Fine. Everybody's just so ornery and upset because they were locked in. This is what three days worth of energy looks like. I would make the same choice over again because her genetics are amazing. Like, I would love to say her line. She has such a good line. And her mom has a perfect udder. She may not have her the height that I wanted, but she has a perfect udder, so. You enjoyed that back massage? Yeah, I'm getting a really good back massage. Don't bite me. I'm sure my coat, <laughs> this other coat is completely ripped now. Is it ripped? No, it's just a little dirty and slobbery. All right, it's time to take down our little shelter that we made for the duck and the goose. It is gorgeous out here. It's still cold. It's like just above freezing, but it's nicer than it has been. We're just all grateful to be outside. So we left the new little girl in the stall with Lola to encourage them to be friends. They can't hurt each other. And they can't hurt each other. Neither of them have horns. We just didn't want to leave her outside. 
with all the with everybody unsupervised but probably tomorrow she'll be out Yep, now you can lunch honey. Okay. Tip your thing and and Willow. Yeah. Willow doesn't like being lunch. She doesn't like what? Yeah, Sylvie's really good at knowing what her goats like and what they don't like. Like close it up then. I would leave it open because it's oh I guess leave it open. Willow doesn't like halters and stuff. Like she would rather you just follow you around. And honey is sassy, she <laughs> Don't you know that you